The year is 2001. It's already been three months since the beginning of the 21st century. In the sci-fi movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, humans have already traveled all the way to Jupiter. Or, at least, that's all I saw before I fell asleep. My name is Koichi Hirose, and I'm currently in Italy, the land of ancient history and economic crisis, on vacation to see through a bizarre mission that was entrusted to me by Mr. Jotaro. Um, can I ask you how much it would cost to take a taxi into town? Probably around uh, 4,000 to 5,000 yen. Thank you. The goal of this mission is to find the boy in this photo. His name is Haruno Shiobana, and he is 15 years old. The name sounds like a girl's name, but he's a male. Apparently, he's an Italian with Japanese blood. He's currently in a boarding school, and I know the address. And what's bizarre about this is... I want you to get a sample of his skin and send it to me, Koichi, so that I can have the Speedwagon Foundation check his genetic structure. Huh? His genetic structure? What do you mean? And besides, who is this boy? That's what we're trying to find out. He's not a dangerous character, but just in case, try to avoid coming into contact with him or speaking to him. Just get a sample of his skin, no matter how small. That's all I ask. I would have done it myself, but you're more suited for the job. Your Echoes will be able to approach him without being noticed, unlike Josuke or me. Also, all of your expenses are paid for. You can think of it as a spring break part-time job. All expenses paid? But this boy, I don't mean to be rude, he kind of looks like you. Hmm. Why is Jotaro investigating this boy? He didn't seem to want to divulge too much, but I was lured by the fact that all expenses would be paid for. And that's why I'm here now, in Italy. Eh, I'm not too interested in older countries like this. I'll just get this job over with and head over to Disneyland in Paris. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> Damn, that shit is disgusting. No matter how many times I see it. <laughs> Gross. How was it possible for someone to stuff their whole ear into that hole? Whoa. That person sure can do crazy things. Well, thanks for showing us a good time. No problem. Huh? Well, try not to attract too much attention here. Uh, huh? Huh? Uh, a taxi. Hello, are you looking for a taxi? Hey, mister! This is a part-time job, and I'm on my way home now, so I'll give you a discount. How about 8,000 yen to take you into town? Ha! Too expensive. I'm fine. I'll get an official taxi from the stop. Are you Japanese? You speak very good Italian. It's amazing. Have you ever lived in Italy? Huh? Well, that's... I asked Rohan to make it so that I can... Uh... I mean... I mean, uh, well, I learned. But anyway, are you saying that you're going to drive? You look like you're in middle or high school. Can you even get your license when you're that young? And what were you handing the airport guards? I saw some money, but what was it for? That was just a parking fee. In any case, don't worry about things like that. How about a thousand yen, then? I won't even ask for a tip. Exactly one thousand yen to get into the city. How about that? Huh? One thousand yen? Wait, N no thanks. Why would you suddenly drop it to 1,000? Don't talk to me anymore. Ugh. Oh, there's a pretty long line. Hey, hey, why aren't you asking the people in that line if they want a taxi? If you're going to refuse, I'm going to go. Uh, so, you're serious about the 1,000 yen? 1,000 yen. But I'm going to have to ask you to put your own luggage in the passenger seat. I'm working without a tip, you know? 
It's decided then. Your luggage will go in the front seat, and you, the passenger, will sit in the back. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. Don't think I'm just a naive Japanese tourist who's not used to traveling. Don't underestimate me. So just take me straight to the hotel. Of course. I'll go straight to the hotel. However, only with your empty luggage. Whoa! Huh? Excuse me, I didn't get on yet. <laughs> Don't look, ignore it. Huh? Ah! It, it can't be! W wait! Ah! <laughs> Ciao. <sighs> what? Didn't I tell you? Don't underestimate me. Mm. You can run if you want. As long as I get my luggage back, I'm fine. Of course, I had thought that this boy would make an expression of panic or defeat or at least guilt upon knowing that his plan has failed. But he didn't seem to be feeling any of those things. The boy was merely smiling. He simply glanced at me with that composed, calm smile. His expression conveyed a shining serenity, or at least that's how I felt. Looks like Jarno messed up. Engine trouble. That's what he gets for trying to trick a Japanese tourist when he's half Japanese himself. Shh. He's going to know that we accepted the bribe. Whatever. It's not like he understands. Huh? Uh. Well, no one would guess that Giorno Giovanna is Japanese. Because of that hair. No. Apparently he didn't dye it. He used to have black hair, but it suddenly turned blonde recently. Weird, huh? He says that it's hereditary, that he got it from his father who died in Egypt. Jo... Vanna? Giorno Giovanna? Haruno Shiobana? Shiobana? Sho... no... Giorno? Ha! <sighs> ha! I guess you could say that they look alike, but... I just arrived. It can't be! W what How?! M m my luggage! It's... it's not here! Huh? Th this is... Ah! After two years, I finally remembered that unwritten rule of fate. That stand users attract other stand users. I realize that now. Here, shortly after I arrived in Italy, 